Studios. I just got a little small. We Martin fanatics. Oh, Martin? Oh, Martin fanatics. Nah, man. So, can you give us like your best Martin Long story? <laughs> One day I'm at Eddie Murphy's house, uh -huh. and um, Miss Murphy is like, "Kids, get ready. We gonna go over to um." And then she said the name of this person's house, but she didn't say the male's name. She said the female's name. Okay. So we all get in the car. We go to the screen. Sitting in the crib, got a movie theater. Before you walk into the movie theater, it's this long concession stand, all this candy, like, oh, bro, every kind of candy you could think of, like Twizzlers, Snickers, Sour Patch Kids, Reese's Pieces, Bubblegum, all of that. Full popcorn machine, soda machine, a person working it, like we was in the AMC theater, bro, and we in somebody's crib. <laughs> I go ham, like, I'm, I got a big bucket, and I'm just, right? So we watch the movie, we come out, I hear Miss Murphy's voice, so I wanna ask, like, are we gonna eat dinner? Cause they offering us, like, food, but they had, like, hot dogs and stuff. So, the Murphys have a chef, Joe. So you go home, when you get to their crib, like, any time of the day, they make you whatever, bro. You walk in at three in the morning, be like, I want porterhouse steak and lobster, and Joe cook up porterhouse steak and lobster. So I'm like, is Joe gonna be there when we get back? So I'm going to ask her, I walk into the foyer, and I hear this voice, and I'm like, why does this voice sound familiar? So then, I, mind you, I still got the big bucket of candy. I still got a big soda. So then, I'm like, Miss Murphy. Dude turns around, it's Martin. So then he like, he like, y'all got this little nigga in my house, right? <laughs> so he come, he look at my bowl. He like, you eating all my damn candy, man. He was like, come here. No, we about to go see what you got, right? So we go back to the thing. He looking at the candy thing. He like, like, damn, man, Nicole, why you bring this little nigga eating on my candy? Wow. Now, the reason why he was saying all of that is because when I was shooting Losing Isaiah, Losing Isaiah was a Paramount project. They did Bad Boys also. So when they first shot the, when they was doing the first Bad Boys, we had just wrapped Losing Isaiah. So we was doing like all of the sponsoring, the tours and stuff like that for promo. And they brought me to the set of Bad Boys before they, like when they first started shooting. And I met Martin, I met right. Will, all of that, right? Yeah. So he messing with me, but I don't remember that because I was like four years old. So I'm just like, this nigga don't like me. Yeah, right? So then my pops comes. My pops picks me up from Martin's crib. And Martin comes to my pops. He like, he like, yeah, what's up, oh, Big Mark? Yeah, here, yeah, hold it. Take that. Hands my dad like some tab, some receipt. And my father like, what is this? He's like, that's your tab because that little nigga can eat. <laughs> and then ever since then, like, and then I told Martin right then and there, I was like, I was like 15, 16. And uh, I was like, one night I was over there and I took like a picture. We took pictures of something together. And I told him, I was like, man, I want to work with you. Uh, one day I'm gonna work with you. And he was like, make it happen. And I was like, bet. Like when I was 20, I auditioned for Big Mama's House Street. Mm -hmm. Booked that, first day on set. Martin come on set, this nigga got two shorties walking with him, holding umbrellas, walking up like this. He all, nobody really talking to him because they all afraid, all based yeah, off rumors yeah. and stuff. But he walk up and I'm like, I told you. And then he turn around, he like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> listen up, man. Where my candy, man? <laughs> and that's one of my most like memorable moments. Word. Yeah, that's amazing. Cause man. that dude is a legend, bro. Thanks. That's